Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, so we meet again. So welcome to our last lecture for this micro credential course. Uh, so in this uh, in this last lecture, uh, I will uh, I will uh, briefly uh, explain to you about what uh, we uh, we we call as the M commerce. M commerce or other word we call as a mobile commerce usually we using the platform okay so after you complete this section you should be able to understand the role of M commerce in business and you can explain the M commerce applications so the what is M commerce uh, M commerce usually M commerce um, we uh, we use especially du during year 2020 it's about 65% of all e-commerce uh, and also the retail M commerce is the fastest growing form of e-commerce expanding rate more than 15% a year so in uh, M commerce we have three main area uh, the first one is the mass market retailing uh, in including the amazon.com and also the ebay uh, the second one will be the sales of digital content, uh, digital content we have in the market, uh, such as we have music, the TV shows, movies and ebooks. And the next one we have in app sales to mobile devices. Um, and also uh, for the in app sales, uh, usually for example like whatever uh, application that we want to install in uh, by using the mobile examples of e-commerce we have in the market uh, like uh, uber and also uh, airbnb okay so from this graph this is the mobile retail commerce revenue uh, mobile is e-commerce is the fastest growing type of b2c e-commerce Okay, uh, and in year 2021, uh, M commerce sales are expected to account for 54% of total e commerce sales. Uh, if you can see here, so it, it, uh, it increased okay, since 2016 until 2022. So, this graph illustrates the surging growth of uh, M commerce sales from 2016 to 2022 uh, and in the early years prior to 2009 okay, M commerce in the United States uh, was very small and not growing rapidly so uh, by using the cell phones especially we have the smartphone has changed that met, uh, that uh, that method okay so people love to use the mobile commerce because of we are uh, when the, the technology change okay the next one will be the location based services and applications uh, for the location based services and applications so uh, it used by 74% of smartphone orders okay uh, uh, I, uh, I think all of you are the smartphone orders so we base on the GPS map services so the location based services we have uh, divided into, into three the first one we have geo social services uh, the second one we have geo advertising and the last one we have geo information services so geo social services usually uh, we want to locate our friends or our family members okay and then uh, for example we can use the four square uh, and then we can update our locations and then we also can provide the review and tips for uh, to uh, for uh, other people to enjoy the location okay number two is about geo advertising uh, this usually uh, we want to know what shops are nearby okay for example like uh, you want to advertise something for example like kill store uh, kill store is a cosmetic retailer so they will send uh, the special offers and announcement to customer within 100 yards of their store okay so uh, people a nearby will get okay the advert, uh, advert advertisement from the kills okay and the uh, next one we have geo information services uh, for example here we ha we want to know the price of house we are passing pass, passing by okay uh, and usually geo information we are using the waste okay so the waste will locate uh, the user's car or digital map by using GPS of course by using GPS and also we collect the information on the user speed and also the direction continuously if you uh, uh, you didn't know the, the, the correct route uh, to, to go to the destination 
they will they will find the other route for you to make sure that you can uh, you can arrive at the, at the right destination at the right time okay so this is a part of the location based services and applications okay uh, other mobile commerce services okay also we have the financial account management apps okay including the bank credit uh, the bank the credit card companies uh, maybe other banks, uh, so maybe credit card companies, for example, we have the HSBC, we have uh, even in Malaysia, we have the uh, even Bank, we have the MAE, okay, and then uh, uh, even for the Hong Leong Bank, Hong Leong Bank, we have the uh, Connect, okay, so these are the apps, okay, uh, that include in the mo mobile commerce services. Okay, and then also we have the mobile advertising market. Uh, so we uh, they will use the Facebook or Instagram, okay, Google, including the YouTube, okay, to advertise uh, the, uh, whatever uh, the product or services. And also sometimes the advertisement will embed okay, in games, videos, and other mobile applications. Sometimes when you want to play a game, uh, and then they will promote to you other games for you. Maybe uh, you might like later, so you you may install it in your uh, smartphone. Okay. Other than that, other example, we have Shopkick. Uh, Shopkick is a mobile app that enables retailers such as Best Buy, uh, Sports Authority, ABCs to offer coupons to people when they walk into their store. So when they walk into their store, they are automatically recognized uh, uh, the user entered a partner retail store and they will offer a new virtual currency. We call it as kickback. Okay, so the kickback is uh, you can redeem for store gift card. Okay, uh, and then uh, if you can see here, uh, for the mobile commerce services, 47% uh, 47, 47 of top retailers have app commerce websites. So virtually, all large traditional and online retailers have app commerce apps, such as we have Sephora, uh, we have Home Depot, uh, Amazon, Walmart, and even uh, in Malaysia, uh, we have uh, uh, many examples. Okay, uh, such as and in Malaysia also we have Shein. Okay, uh, and then other than that, uh, uh, for example, if you want to buy a, a drink, uh, uh, we have the Zeus. Okay, so this is other mobile commerce services that are offered. Okay, by the uh, by the retailer. Right, the next one will be the mobile app payment system. So we have three main types of mobile payment apps. We have the first one, we have NFC, near field communication. The second one, we have QR code. And the last one, we have P2P payment system. Okay, NFC, they will use the chips of NFC in both payers mobile devices and merchant, uh, merchant uh, point of sale reader device. Okay, so they have to put both of this uh, of, from the payer and also the merchant. Okay, and that can be used with many different merchants if they use the NFC readers as of well, uh, to accept the payment. Uh, uh, so they have to communicate, must use the same platform. Okay, and then uh, uh, the example of the NFC, we have Apple Pay, we have of Apple Pay for Apple user, Google Pay for Google user, Samsung Pay for the Android user. Okay. Okay, and then the next one we have QR code. Uh, QR code they have they use the 2D barcode. Okay, and then encoded to perform contactless transaction. Okay, and then the, you you must uh you uh you must scan the code, and then they will generate the app on a smartphone and compatible the virtual device. Okay, so you uh, uh, I think uh both of us are using the QR code. If you are uh, go to any restaurant or any uh any uh shop that you want to uh you want to make a payment, you just scan the QR code. For example, here we have the Tesco, we have the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, even uh, you go to restaurant like Urban Affair. Uh, you go to restaurant for 
like uh, such as uh, the uh, uh, AD Mama restaurant. Okay, you still can use the QR code. Okay, then the last one we have P two P payment system, peer to peer. Okay, P two P we allow the individual transfer fund from their bank account to another account. So, for example, here we have the Venmo and Zelle. Venmo and Zelle is in US. Okay, other than that, we have the Grab, we have the Touch and Go, we have the Boost, we have the PayPal, and also the Thief. Alright, so thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you can get something from uh, whatever I shared uh, uh, since the lecture 1 until this uh, lecture 3. Okay, uh, if you have any question, you can give the feedback. Okay, uh, in the in the new feature and also uh, uh, I will uh, I also have a, a question uh, for for you to uh, to give the feedback about the app commerce uh, uh, and I hope uh, everybody get something valuable from this video thank you for watching and have a nice day